two guys are, uh, one's a senior, one's a junior, Marvin Prochet, who was one of our captains last year. Marvin uh, led the league in, in defensive rebounding, overall rebounding, uh, led the league in double bubbles. He, he's a, uh, I thought he was overlooked I, uh, as a, uh, as a uh, all-conference player. I thought he was an all-conference player and played like it throughout the year, but unfortunately didn't get that accolade. But, you know, he's going to gun for that this year. And uh, he, um, I think he's got a chance to, to be really, really good. Uh, he's, he's versatile. He's expanded his game. He can play around the basket, on the perimeter, makes threes, handles the ball. I believe he had a three-to-one assist to turnover ratio last year, which is outstanding for a face-up four. You know, so he's he's does a lot of things for us, a lot of things. I expect him to step into that role. Uh, James Towns, who was a junior point guard, uh, was playing somewhat behind Khalil, but I played those two guys together a bunch. And he had some big games for us. He had 31 against Canisius, had a couple 20-point games, big game on the road against Iona. So he can go, too. And, uh, you know, he's getting the keys to the car, and I expect him to step into a prominent role, scoring the ball. And then there's some other guys. You know, Don Robb, who's a senior, had 28 in the uh, in the um, conference tournament game last year, you know, at 6'9", and he's led the league in block shots. And, you know, we have some younger guys that can step up. You know, Don Fregallo was one of the top high school scorers, and, in the country is freshman senior high school and we redshirted him last year. 